the male. Okay, the male. Am I including the uh, Nijato specialization for this? Yes. Yes. Okay. That will hit. So now you're going to the damage is a nine plus a d six. So just roll a d six. Twelve. Okay. It absorbs the damage. And then you're gonna try to grab the pie jack. So roll a, I would say a dexterity. Dexterity, acrobatics, if you want to use that. Yeah, dexterity, acrobatics, if you want to use that to grab the pie jack. 17. Okay. I will say that you'll be able to grab the pie jack with the 7. Well, let me see. The pie jack is pinned. I'm going to roll a dexterity for him, but his. Let's see if I beat that. I'm going to put a minus 3 because he's pinned. Nine. Okay, so you do grab the pie jack. So you've got the cab pie jack by the scruff of the neck. Okay. Yes. However, the Varen, as his movement, I had him get up as a movement, and he will now attack you directly. What is your defense? Your brawling defense? Eleven. Okay. Can I be holding the pie jack out in front of me? Because that's what I was trying to get at. You're trying to hold the pie jack in front of you? Human shield! Protect me, pie jack! Uh, depending on how high his attack roll is, he might end up hitting... Well, we'll see. We'll see how high his attack roll is. What is your normal brawling defense? My normal brawling defense is... 11. Okay. My melee defense is 16, in case you're wondering. I had a wild, so... I had a wild dice, that's the problem. It would have worked if it wasn't oh. for the fact that I got a wild dice. And again. And again, yeah, yeah. It would have worked except for the fact that I had a wild dice. So he does hit. Dealing. I'm gonna go ahead and prepare. Well, don't forget, shields is up to provide extra kinetic barrier. Right. Well, damage resistance, kinetic barrier is not gonna help too much in this situation. True. Okay, it's gonna be 17 points of damage. This isn't fair. However, Damien has been holding his action this entire time. So, because he's been holding his action, he actually jumps in front of you and takes the full 17 points of damage. Okay. The, uh... Okay. So, he took, he took 17 points of damage and his damage reduction goes, is, is increased by another what again? Uh, six because of the shields. Right. So he only took six points of damage from that. Okay. So now we're back in now we're back in the regular turn because I had to add the Baron in. So now Davian holds his action again and he's looking towards both 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 of you. Niha lines up her shot. Pijak is next. Hijack tries to attack Faith. What is your brawling defense? Uh, Faith? 16, I think. I think that's where it is. Uh, has it had range DB, melee yes. DB, and then just brawling. So I think it's uh, 16 for that. That will hit. Damage. Did we just skip a bunch of people? We did no. not, because I skipped the Baron. So I went and did the Varen by accident. So I went back and did the Varen, now we're back in line. Now we're back in order. Okay, so that's 12 points of damage. But you're but you're absorbing a lot of it, right? Uh it should be. Because of shields. So what is your damage resistance? Uh six. So she absorbs all of it. Right. So you absorb all absorb all of it. 
Good job. That shield is very nice. But meanwhile, the shield is taking damage this whole time, right? It pro it should be because it had, I think, 40 HP and kinetic barrier or something. Yeah. It's 40 HP in, in, in terms of kinetic barrier, but I don't think yeah. they've been tripping the kinetic barrier part of the shield. Okay. So it's just kind of there. Okay. The other piejack moves. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. They're very fast, so... It doesn't quite doesn't quite have enough movement speed to reach you. <laughs> um, and then the last Pijack is going to try to bite into your wrist because you got it by the scruff of its neck. I thought I had it by by its neck. Yeah. So he's going to try to okay. bite at you, <laughs> claw at you. He's going to struggle. Bite at you, claw at you, kick something. you, something. 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 Okay. What is your brawling defense? Eleven. Okay. I thought that was high. I've been proven wrong so much. <laughs> Not quite as high as mine, but then again. Hey, mine's six. <laughs> he will hit. Dealing. Fifteen points of damage. Again, um... Again, um, Damien will jump in. We'll jump in and uh, take the brunt of the damage. So that means he takes another five points of damage. Damien's like tanking right now, or at least attempting to tank. Quinn, I it's have a question. I, Quinn, it's I'm, back to you. I'm rolling with it. Back to you, Quinn. Uh, I noticed this thing has a blaster in its mouth. Okay. I was wondering if I could use my sabotage abil ability to make it go off. What has a blaster in its mouth? The pie jack in my hand. Uh, sure. Oh. Point it at the uh, Varen. I don't know if it has a blaster in its mouth, but... Really? Yeah, it uh, does. That's just, that's that's just, just a tube coming out. No, I don't think that's a blaster. That's just his nose. Yeah. I wouldn't call that a blaster. Knows. Yeah, I wouldn't call that a blaster. <laughs> okay, fine. Uh, give me a moment to think. Okay. My entire plans have gone up in flames. <clears throat> Sorry. Right to decapitate the piejack. Okay. Just gonna keep at it. Well, it's in my hand. So you're gonna let go to decapitate him? No, I'm holding off the neck. I'm going to swing at the rest of his bo body. Okay. That's hanging out. Roll a brawl, please. And since I'm holding him, can I, like, uh, move back a couple? Sure. Roll the damage, do an additional... Because of you basically got him by the scrub of his neck and you're trying to do a, a fatal blow to his neck, I'll let you roll 2d6 extra damage instead of 1d6 extra damage. So 9 plus 2d6. Okay. 17? Okay. That thing uh, still had a kinetic barrier around it, but it doesn't depend. But you have, you're doing a melee weapon, so it doesn't matter. 17, okay. Sixes only count if they come at the end, right? Yeah. Sixes, I, yeah, I don't think six, I don't think the wild die is for damage, too. Well, so essentially, she's just popping up her, uh, her, uh, Omni tool while the Pijek is flown over here and then swims back across the river. She's let and uh, she's basically calling her ship and she's like, "Okay, I don't need to do readings anymore. I'm pretty well certain that we have problems. Come over here and bring lots of guns." Okay. Uh, is my Pijek dead? No. Okay. But you did damage it quite a bit. Uh, okay. Salo, what are you gonna do? I, I'm going to shoot, despite the other ones not having kinetic barriers, I think I'm going to shoot the one that is severely injured, and that is 
ranged. How do I do gun things? It's just my dexterity plus range. You're fighting. You're firing at the one that Quinn is holding. Yes. Okay. In order, and so that would be a ranged attack. Please hit high. High yeah, man. Please hit high. Feel high. Right now. All right. So that's two D and then plus ranged plus my pistol specialization. Yep. All right. Oh, I just rolled a one on the wild die, so that's a bad thing happening. Yeah. yeah. Why? Why? <laughs> you just rolled an 11. So, because of the situation, in lieu of hitting slash... In lieu of hitting the Pijax slash overheating your weapon, in lieu of that, you're going... You accidentally hit Quinn instead. Roll the damage oh for your pistol. Your aggravation oh is gone, sir. No. <laughs> The bromance fizzled. It's done. Breaking the ship. And I don't add anything to damage, it's just the damage dice that on the weapon? Yep. I'm assuming so, yes. Okay. That's four. Four damage? Four, uh, no, it's four dice worth of damage. Alright, 46. <laughs> <laughs> I go bad for you. Carrier because it's ranged. <laughs> He's not in the barrier anymore, though. But he has, oh, I think I think he has his know. own kinetic barrier. <laughs> yeah, how much? He does have three, so roll your 46. I rolled, it's 13. 13? <laughs> okay. So, 13 right. minus your kinetic barrier. Your kinetic barrier goes down to zero. Your damage resistance is five. So you only you took five points of damage from that hit, Quinn. So you're down to seven points, hit points. All right. I'm good with the techie stuff. I thought I was good with the shooty shooty, but uh. I better look at you. Keep going. Give it here. <laughs> you lost Damien's your yelling out, Dude, oh, watch where you're oh. firing! <laughs> Damien doesn't have any actions left. Niha is going to fire again. Hopefully, I'm actually going to hit this time. That would be really nice. Yeah. It would have been better if I was hold still holding it down. Yes, she will hit. Damage. Isn't that a wild die? 21 yeah, points. Yeah, I thought I saw a wild die too. Okay, that's true. She It'll still hit. Hits She'll anyway. still hit. She'll still hit. Yeah, yeah, that'll still hit. So, damage. 21 hit points of damage. Okay. Hijacks are done. Alright. Anyone has a, another action left? Do anyone have any? I do. You have another action left. Go ahead. Yep, Rain is just going to take her final action to finally aim at the Varen and aim at that uh, critical spot. Okay. Yep. Go ahead. That's, that's all she's doing. She's just aiming. Oh, she's aiming. All right. Yeah. So, does anybody else have any actions left? Mm -hmm. Okay, back to the top. Quinn, how many actions do you want to take this turn? I'll take two again. Okay. Actually, I'll take three. Okay. How about you, Rain? One. Okay. Faith? I think I'm only going to take uh, one as well. Salo? Two. Damien is going to take two. Miha is going to take... Actually, Damien's going to take three. Miha is going to take two. Quinn, starting with you, first action. I want. I'm done holding this thing. I want to stab it like a go, like a shish kebab. Okay. Roll a melee. No, no. Uh, sorry, I got a little overzealous. 31. I... That will definitely hit. Roll the damage. This time add 3d6 extra damage. 3d6 plus 9. 3d6 plus 9. 19. Very nice. Is that thing dead? It's just a tiny playjack. How much could it take? <laughs> I know, you wouldn't it's think they would take that much. It's, almost it's been huskified. 
Yeah, it's been huskified. It doesn't need vital organs. So now it's now messing its legs. It's just it's, it's body shish kebab. Out. It's it's, it's barely kebab. holding on to life. It's hating life right now, but it's barely hating life. Okay. The Baron is gonna go next. The Baron is going to, um, this time attack uh, Damien directly. That's gonna hit Damien. Actually, no. It does not because because I rolled a one, so he misses. Now I'm gonna roll a d6 to see if he misses and hits Faith instead for half the damage. Okay, so he's gonna miss and hit Faith instead for half the damage. Faith, you take half of 21, which is only 11, no, 10. So 10, I think you absorb all of it, right? Uh, shield? Uh, shield should still ha should do six damage reduction and what damage resistance are we doing? Six? Yeah, yeah so she has 12, so you absorb it all. Okay. okay. Rain, you're up. <laughs> I'm going to finally fire at that uh, shot, uh, at that critical spot I aimed at last round. Go ahead. 19. Mm, that will hit. Roll for damage. Okay. And add an additional d6 to it. Make sure I'm getting this damage right. Okay. 29. 29? Yay. Really? Yeah, the the Titan does 6d6 whenever I aim. Nice. Yeah? Good. Oh, sniper rifle. Alright, you got rid of almost all of its hit points. It's got a lot so, of damage reduction. So, can I just say, you guys are dealing with with the Pyjack, and a, and you just hear a loud bang, and a bullet whizzes nice. right in between Faith and the Pyjack, and yes. hits, the, it hits the Baron square in the wow. new orb. That's amazing. So, it's not yet dead yet? No, oh, but it's, it's close. very close to death. Very close. Faith, I, do, what are you I doing hadn't rolled turn? that one, I probably would have killed it. <laughs> what are you doing this turn, Faith? Hmm. I think I'm going to try and... Uh, does warp uh, do damage? Uh, does warp? I don't think warp does damage, does it? I don't think so. I remember from a previous episode, I think, of the main squad. Uh, you guys it it out, makes it you do an addition... It makes everyone else do an additional 1d6 damage to whatever you've warped. Okay, then I'll use warp on the Varen. For my You're turn. basically te tearing it apart from the inside it's out. It's the Viva. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Go ahead, basically use warp. pressurizing uh, or over pressurizing the insides. So, uh, what do I uh, do? I roll anything for that? My biotics. Where roll biotic warp? attribute and warp. So biotic plus warp against the target's defense. Yep. Yeah, against the target's defense. Targets lose fifty percent of their armor damage reduction. Right. And take one additional one D from all attacks against it. Right. Uh, the effects last one round and an additional round for every plus five above the target's roll. That's unfortunately not enough to beat Shit. its defense, unfortunately. So it manages to dodge the warp. Oh, come on. <laughs> Salo, you're up. All right. Uh... I don't think one would make a difference, but you should have added one to that. Because you do have a point in warp, because you have it. Oh. Mm. 13, uh, you know, I don't think it's still going to be enough. Yeah, it's probably going to be enough. So I'm lemon? going to... I'm going to spawn my combat drone again. Okay. These, wily, these Wily Pijacks haven't really been hit. So Are you allowed to bring your combat I'm sorry. out now? Are you missing something? Uh, it it doesn't say that it's only usable once per combat or anything. I think that there's a cooldown though, of three rounds. It's a two round. Uh, two uh, rounds. Okay. I, don't do that. I, I don't think it's been two rounds. Has it been two rounds? No. I don't know I because don't my shield is supposed to be up for three rounds, and I think I used that. No, that's the down. that's the cooldown for your shield. Your shield lasts until you deactivate it or it's destroyed. Oh, right. okay. Okay, so okay, I don't no, think I don't see it. I don't see a cooldown. It says time taken one round. 
But I think in general across the board, talents. Yeah, talents take a two round cooldown. Across period. the board, yeah. Okay. Unless specified. I think it's unless specified, if I understand correctly. Okay. That's why I'm not seeing it in the top description. Alright, so no, it definitely hasn't been two rounds. What else do I have in my bag of tricks besides shooting, which hasn't proven to be very useful? I have energy drain, but none of them have armor. Well, they have armor, they just don't have kinetic barriers. Not anymore. What, is, what does Marksman do? That sounds like a good thing. Uh, makes it easier to hit things, I guess. That's what I'm guessing it is. Does how we do more damage with a certain weapon? Increase um, efficiency. The shot at successful, it does increase damage. When used, roll twice and hit twice for no penalty. Allows you to do shoot twice, essentially. Cool. So I'm gonna do that. That's that's something that's happening. All right. So you're using mag. You're using marksman. marksman. Yeah, I'm gonna use marksman on the uh, on the Baron. Okay. So can you shoot twice now, or is it later? It's 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 a combat talent, so I'm pretty sure. Oh, it's when you you just roll damage twice and hit twice for no penalty. I don't know what no penalty means. But. Okay. So I roll the hit, which is this the normal mm -hmm. 2d6 plus my thing. 22, 22. Will be roll for damage. Alright, and the damage was just a solid. And four. I guess you can, so you, you roll attack twice and then roll hit, you roll damage twice? No, it just says roll damage twice with no penalty. Okay. So roll your damage twice. Sixteen and nine. So here's my question. Does it count as two shots as far as damage resistance is concerned? I believe so, yeah. So it's, it's two shots. Two shots as far as damage resistance is concerned. Okay. Sixteen. So, so nine absorbs all of it. And then you said sixteen? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Congratulations, Salo. You took down the Varen. <laughs> you I took stabbed it. it. <laughs> nice. I stabbed it again. Salo is he like VIP. <laughs> the VIP of this Rain, Rain got off the sniper shot of the year. <laughs> Two shots from a pistol. Way to go. Damien's going to hold his action and look towards... Actually, he's going to move here. He's going to move here and hold his action and look towards... Uh, actually look towards um, you because you're the one who's like outside of the barrier. Niha's gonna line up for you shots. See you see this? What do I have to do to kill it, man? The husks, the one right next to you is gonna try to flail his arms at you. What is your brawling defense again? 11. Okay. That will hit. Damage. Nineteen. Resist five. Doesn't yeah. Matter. And we, with Damien, he's gonna jump in. It's on the tip of my sword. <laughs> yeah. He's Dude. gonna jump in. Um. Oh. Bad. Very bad. What? Damien's looking pretty bad from that last attack that he just jumped into. Ooh, that's not good. Okay, so I'll assume, like, the hijack uh, clawed his way up, down my sword, or to try, yeah. try doing something. Yeah. The other hijack will run up to Damien. Oh, plus 9. Now I'm regretting the warp. Plus another no. 6. Oh no! <laughs> plus another 6. Oh no! Plus another 6. Oh no! Oh, no. Oh, poor Damien! Did this just break? I'm pretty sure... Yeah, it just says rolling 6. It oh my gosh! Rolling 
<laughs> this is why I use the dice. <laughs> that little dice thing. No, no, yeah, no. I, I, think I just said rolling six. I'm rolling a 1d6. 1d6. Yeah. So it's 23 plus a 1d6. I was like, what? This isn't, this isn't right. Three. Okay. There. See, that, that, that's better. <laughs> Three. 26. So I'm gonna... So the creature rolls more damage. This is not gonna be good. Twenty-two. Okay. Poor Damien. Twenty-two. What's Damien's strength? Hey, I've already called in for help. If that if that's of any concern to anybody. Uh, that's probably might be done by the time they get here. Yeah, but people will still be dying. Is he dead? Uh, you won't know until. I mean, you don't know. <laughs> he definitely went down. He definitely went down. And with the uh, when he when the Pijack strikes at Damien, um, the before he goes down, he says, "Oh, bummer," and he falls <laughs> over. <laughs> the Pijack tries to attack uh, Faith next. Uh, I'm assuming that's going to hit you. Uh, Faith. probably. 20 points of damage, so that means it's reduces by 12, so it's 8. 8 points of damage to Faith. Faith has an awful lot of hit points. Do you really have 53 hit points? Uh, yeah, I think we calculated it. Or actually, I calculated it. Uh, what was it again? How do you take out your HP? I just want to make sure I got it right. Three times your strength plus 20. So it's three times however many die you have in strength. How many die do you have in strength? Three. So that's nine plus 20, which is 29. No. Yeah, I was like 53. Like, what is your strength for it to be 53? So your hit points... I don't remember what they said, uh... I don't know I what you guys you added me. in your armor with it. I yeah. have no idea what my armor is, to it's, be honest. So it's sounding like if your hit points, it's sounding like your hit points should be 29, not 53. Oh, okay. Then yeah. I'll change it then. So change it to 29 and then subtract. I don't know how much damage you've been collecting all this time. Do you know how much damage? None so far. All right. So yeah, I've been working You just took eight points of damage, so you're probably down, you're 21. I'll go ahead and put that in. Yeah, I changed it to 29. So now you're 21. Okay. Quinn is next. I want to, uh... I want to reverse my grip and slam this piejack into the ground along with the piejack on it and okay. just back away. Okay. I pointed at the screen as if you could see it. Okay. This piejack. Okay. He's kind of on the other side of the... I mean, you're trying to... All right, there you go. Much better. I think he's trying to swing his sword like a baseball club and hit the other pie jack with the almost... Sure, you can do that. You can do that. No, I mean, I'm trying to impale it down into the ground. On the sword, into the ground, then back away. Okay. So you're trying to get a two pie jack shish kebab. Yes. All right, roll a melee. That's gonna hit. Okay. Roll the damage. So two pie jacks shish kebab. One, d one d six, and nine. Twelve. Twelve. Okay. Twelve to the first one. I'll say half damage to the second one. That kills the pie jack that you originally had in your on your sword, and then you deal six damage to the next pie jack. And I am just leaving my sword unattended to into the ground. My hands are not on it, but I'm so close to it because I'm assuming that I can't. I don't. I can't have my action then move again. Okay. 
That's fine. I am going to move over to Damien. And I am going to... I want to apply Metagel now or get the hijacks out of the way and then check next round. I'm gonna, I'm While gonna... uh, Quinn, Quinn is now looking at... Now that he has let go of his sword, he is now looking at da Damien, and it looks like he's getting ready to do something. Okay. I can't I can't actually uh, summon my combat drone until next round, so I'm going to apply Metagel to, to Damien this round. Okay. So he gets six hit points. Yep. Okay. Roll a... Okay. So the next person is... Niha. She lost her target, so she's going to re-aim again at the pie jack. I guess she's going to move here. One, two, three, four, five. And aim at this pie jack. Okay. This and is the second I... turn or the first turn? Third, actually, by my count. Third turn? Oh, okay. So this is an we used the three actions. I used three actions. I'm yeah, so this is your third action now. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, I don't have any more actions left. So back to the top again. Isn't it? No, I... no, it's, it's, it's my third. Uh, Quinn has a third action. Oh, oh, oh. Three. Okay. So so Quinn, go ahead and use your third turn. Third turn. I want to drag Damien like ten space. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. As far as I can drag him, which is about here. Well, if you're dragging him, you can't move that far. First of all, your regular movement speed is what? Ten. So Sometimes move, twelve. So you can move five squares. Okay. One, if two. you're dragging him, that means you can only move three squares, I would say. You can only drag okay. him back three squares. Okay. So you can move him here. Okay. Uh, and then does Salo have another action? No. Okay. And everybody, all the actions are done, right? Okay, back to Quinn. How many turns? Two. Rain. We don't know yet. Faith, how many turns? Uh, probably one. Salo. Two. Okay. Let's start with Quinn. Slapping Metagel on him. Roll a medicine for me, Quinn. That is under knowledge? Yes, knowledge medicine. I don't have any bonuses, so it's just a strict great knowledge roll. Eleven. What is up with spells internet? You think it's you think it's odd that the metagel does not seem to be helping. Quinn is staring. Faith, you're up. Uh okay, I think she's gonna instead of using her biotics, I think she's gonna pull out her uh shot uh sorry, her pistol. Okay. And attack uh let's I think that one. Okay. I'm not sure what the uh had to do the thing for it. Okay. Uh, it would be you're using your pistol. Uh, yeah, it's the harpy Cerberus skunk. Oh, you have the same thing that I do. So it's it's your dexterity, however many dice you have in dexterity, okay. plus however many points you have in range, plus if you have a specialization for pistols. Okay, thank you. Roll your attack roll. Okay, uh, let me start typing it. We didn't go into another combat round, did we? We did. How many turns do you want to take this round? Um, Hold on, let me find my range. Uh, two. You want to take two? Oh, mm -hmm. I got a wild die. Okay, 
while you're while you're rolling, um, since Rain is back, Rain technically is supposed to go before you. So Rain, do your okay. first turn. Okay, I can wait. She's going to be aiming at this pie jack. Go ahead and roll your wild die, though. She's aiming at that okay. wild. Okay. So roll your wild die. So another roll five. So sixteen. So you're trying to hit it with a sixteen. It'll hit. Okay. You're trying to hit the one over here. Is that right? Uh, yeah. Right. Roll for damage. Fifteen. Okay. Salo, you're up. All right. So I you are not allowed to use... shoot at that pie jack. Just I like believe I can use my uh, drone. My drone again. I believe you can. And the one of the pie jacks, unless it was the one I killed or the one that somebody killed, uh, starts regenerating their uh, their shieldy thing. I think it was the one on the left. Barrier. I think, think it's the one on the left? I thought it was the one on the right. I don't know, <laughs> to be I, honest. I, I think it's the one on the right, but... This one was hit first. Yeah, I think it was the one on the right. Okay, so your drone comes out. Where do you want to place the drone? Uh, it doesn't have to be right next to you. Move okay. it where you want to place it. Cool, so I want it to be over, like, here, if that's... That's where you want it to be? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Damien is down. Niha's gonna aim at. Oh, she had already aimed at this pie jack. She's gonna fire at that pie jack. That's gonna hit. She's gonna roll damage. 18. Pie jack. This one is going to go and attack this. These two pie jacks are gonna run off and attack the drone. This, assuming this, this one one's pie jack. on the ground. Oh, that one's impaled on the ground? Yeah, I stuck my sword through it and into the ground. Okay, so he's going to try to go after the um, drone, and in its struggle, it's going to damage itself. Ooh, good. Roll me a d6 of damage, Quinn. Just a regular d6? Just a regular d6. That's how much damage he's going to take from the struggle. Four points of damage from the struggle. The other one is going to try to attack the drone. Drones? Does the drone have a melee? Have a brawling defense? It does. It gives no defenses. It just gives uh, dr hit points and the damage it does. Okay, it so it just hits it. I'm just gonna see if I miss. No, I don't miss. So damage. Twenty-three hit points of raw damage. Right. Twenty-three points of raw damage. So I don't know how much damage it actually takes. Uh, it's got six dr. Okay. So it only takes 17. Quinn is up again. Quinn, you just applied Medigel and it didn't seem like it. Helped. I know, I know. It... Quinn is looking around. He's he's now looking for anything. Heartbeat, breath. Roll of medicine. That's a straight up knowledge roll because I don't have any medicine. Okay. In the heat of the moment, you try to check for a pulse, but you um, think that you did it wrong. You feel like you have to do it again okay. to get a pulse properly. Rain, you're up. Also, your tag is gone. Okay. So, Rain is uh, basically still using the rocks to prop her sniper rifle, and she is aiming, she's aimed at this pie jack, but she's going to try and go for style points and shoot that one through the other one. Okay. Can I do that? You can. It's going to be a higher attack roll, but you can try to make a ranged attack. Oh, not even close. Fail. You got a so one. You the one, and you roll the one. So yeah. that means that... Um, roll a d6 to find out if you... Miss or if your weapon overheats. What is a four? That means that your weapon misses, I believe. I think if you get a one through three, I believe okay. the rule is one through three. It's a fifty percent chance. One through three, you overheat. Four through six, it misses. So it's just a regular miss. Okay. 
faith is up. Uh, I'm going to shoot the one whose shield is still mm-hmm. um, 18. That's going to hit. Roll for damage. Nine. Nine. Okay. Get a guess. It's looking pretty bad, decently bad. Oh, then can, does my drone go on my turn? Yep. Uh, it's going to try and uh, stun the okay. one that I just attacked. And I guess okay. it's just going over the table. I have the lowest points in that, so it's just two. Target target roll their stam okay. The target rolls their stamina skill or strength attribute to counter the stun. If failed, the target is stunned for two rounds. Okay, okay. so the ten is So it does take damage from the stun, but it let's see if it actually gets stunned. Okay. The drone stuns for two so rounds. So basically he can't do anything for two rounds. Which is really good. Okay. Niha's gonna aim at the stun target. This by Jack decides to go over and... Still impaled on the ground. That's true, he's still impaled on the ground. He's gonna try to spend an action to pull himself off of the ground. Pull, from, pull himself off of being impaled. Nope. And in doing so, he takes another point of damage. Quinn, you're next. I will take... Uh, what's the max on how many you can take? Um, if, you t- if you're trying to take more than four, I think that's going to be unrealistic. Uh, Quinn is panicking right now. Okay. I think he'll take uh, four. Okay. Because he's getting frantic. So if you roll anything, it's going to be a minus nine, twelve. I think. Twelve? Is it twelve? Four actions? No, well, four it's... actions is nine. Yeah, it's four actions is nine. Four actions is nine. And it's three for every one beyond one. Brain, how many actions? Um, one. Yeah, one. Faith. Uh, I think I'm gonna ha- do one. Salo. Uh, I'm going to take two. Okay. Nia's gonna take two. Quinn, go ahead. Uh, checking for signs of life. Roll, roll, and subtract nine. Doing Roll of medicine and subtract nine. Two. No. You won't know. Rain, you're up. She's going to shoot at the one that she's still aimed at. Okay. Fifteen. That's going to hit. Roll for damage. Twenty-two. That will kill it. It was this one. Oh. That was the one she was still aimed at. Sorry. That will kill it, too. Okay. <laughs> okay. Faith, you're up. Okay, I think I'm going to move her over here. Go ahead. And uh, she'll shoot at this one. Now, once you shoot, does the shield go down? Because it says if you're with the shield, you can't do anything else. Yeah, it'll go down. Okay, so you'll drop your shield and fire. It's been three rounds anyway. Eight. It's looking very close to death. Salo, you're up. All right, I'm going to... Let's kick back in. I'm gonna use marksman. Okay. And see if I. Has it been hit. two rounds already? Yeah, it's yeah. been two okay. since I killed the Baron. Yeah. It's been four actually. I'm okay. gonna use it. No, it's been two. You gotta since cut that in half. The Baron. Because, yeah. Oh. That's gonna hit. Roll for damage twice. So should I just should I just roll eight d six? Well, no. It should be individual because I apply the damage okay. resistance. I apply the damage resistance. Okay. Separately. All right. Twelve and ten. Okay. They're separate. Okay. I know. I was. Salo Vera, Mr. VIP, MVP, Mr. MVP. Give us a cinematic of how Salo takes out the final husk, the final. Cello, Cello aims his pistol at the uh, at the uh, at the pie jack and kind of gives a glance over at Damien and just kind of gets a little bit of a, an angry look in his eye and just aims right at its head and double tap. You know, it's impaled nice. on the ground. You could have like strutted over, over just 
coldly po- hold your pistol out and double tap tapped over it. Sella, Sella doesn't have that much swagger. He fires at the at the creature. It hits him smack in the head. The creature, from the impact of the of the weapon, um, he falls to the ground, and the sword um, shoots up because it it kind of does this. It shoots up, uh, twirls a bit in the air, and then drops down uh, and embeds itself in the creature's impales the creature in the chest. I'm proud of you, Gray, gray Edge. No style. Eric Soul truly is in there. Quinn assisted with that. Okay. The combat is over. Niha will run up to you. And Damien is still down. What happens? I'm still frantically looking for signs of life. You will check for a pulse. And you will find none. Quinn will just simply say, yeah. well, he's not shaking, he's not doing anything, but when, well, he's frantically looking around, but when he figures it out, his, everything just sort of stops, and he pulls back and say, on his knees and just says, dead. Uh, can Faith check for it? She can. I don't have so- uh, it's knowledge, right? Roll a medicine. Yeah, roll a knowledge medicine. As soon as as soon as Niha hears uh, what Quinn just said, she curses a uh, Quarian curse. I don't know all the Quarian curses other than Boshdet, but she curses and then she walks up to a tree and she punches the tree as hard as she can. Leaves start to shake. Faith, you go down to your dear friend's body, and you too check for a pulse. And your heart sinks when you realize he's gone. What does Faith? How does what happens? What does Faith? How does Faith react? Uh, let me see. What should she do? She's probably gonna be really upset. She's gonna get up, uh, walk away, and st- I guess start. Throwing things with her biotics. Okay, so she's just randomly throwing. Are you ran, are throwing like Ra- random lashes of biotic energy everywhere? Yeah. I guess. Everywhere. How about the bodies of the pijacks? Are you fleeing the pijacks around? Like probably. <laughs> so she's throwing like random objects and corpses around. Uh, upon seeing uh, Quinn, the pijack with Quinn's sword in it, he's going to shout. Stop! No! 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 Tackle. Tackle her. Are, are you gonna tackle her? Yeah. It's Roll. a hug. Okay, okay, okay that's fine. Soldier under the arm say, no, You'll, no, no. Faith, you will feel um, the arms of Quinn grab a hold of you as you are um, in a rage or... I mean, you're obviously upset. So what happens as soon as that, as soon as he does? Uh, let's see. She's probably does, she, gonna, does she resist? She's probably gonna stop and like surprise, obviously. Okay, so she doesn't resist. I'm just worried that in your rampage, you're gonna you're gonna just fling fling Quinn Quinn up to the <laughs> nether sphere. You you <laughs> just Faith just lost her best friend. Do you think that she would have stopped immediately after losing her best friend just like that? Probably not. Okay. So may, so do you think she would resist a little bit then? Yeah, probably. She's probably gonna... I don't know how she would react. Alright, well... She's never really lost anybody. Oh, well, if this is your first time, well, except then... for her sisters, of course. Mm-hmm. Do, you, do you think she will say something to Quinn? Is she mm-hmm. angry about loss? Is she... Yeah, I guess we should first figure out, are you angry? Are mm-hmm. you sad? Are you... Probably, what, what do you a, think? Mix, probably a mixture of angry and sad. Okay. So... 
Do you? This is her first would time. Would probably be throw, throwing a biotics everywhere, feeling something on her. Might I? It's your character. Yeah. Would she may continue going? Maybe just out of angry, not knowing. Just. It's you said like... your father was a Krogan, right? Yeah. Blood rage, then. You probably have some rage, then. You probably would not. You probably would not cool down immediately. Is my guess. She's probably gonna move away from him then and stalk off somewhere to let out a rage. Okay, so she's gonna stomp off. I gra- I grabbed her. I my hand in like a gra. I'm hu- forcefully hugging her in a sort of way, <laughs> running over and doing that. Doing that, so suddenly lunging at, at you, got wrapped around. Round, uh, you're gonna have to do something in order to get him off easily. Hmm. And he's also shouting no, 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 in your ear. So whether or not you hear that through the rage is up to you. Mm-hmm. She probably won't hear it, but she will try and I guess pull him off. Biotic on him off. Because she doesn't want to... Biotics at him? Probably doesn't want to hurt anybody else. What is Salo doing at this uh, moment? Salo is, is kind of... Uh, he's looking over Damien's body. He, If his eyes were open, he would have crouched down and kind of closed his eyes and said a little Corian prayer. and He'll he'll put a hand on, a, on Quinn's shoulder and and say, uh, Quinn's not there anymore. He's over. Yeah. Over if you're the next to, yeah. If you're next to Damien, do you leave Damien's body and go over to Quinn? Yeah, yeah. I'll leave Damien's body and go over to Quinn and uh, and Faith, and put a put a hand on on Quinn's shoulder and say, uh, he fought bravely. He died protecting us all. Let uh, let Faith go and grieve him in her own way. We all need to support each other, and I think she needs to be alone right now. Can't lose both. I think we'll. I That's think all Quinn says. Can't I lose think both. that uh, I think that we're fine as as long as Faith can not wander too far. I think she she can properly assess the danger that we're in. Not comprehending. Can't lose both. <laughs> I think Niha would sort of be intervening at this point because Niha we're... is Niha right now is is trying to what is not herself paying got, attention. It, got it she's not completely paying attention but then she turns uh, she turns towards uh, your general direction and she says leave her be she says let her get it out now better now than letting it but stay bottled up ex- inside and explode later what is Rain doing during this whole thing? Rain is... Well, at first she's just going to examine the scene and then went, uh, through her scope and make sure that they're not in the mood to fight anymore, and then she's going to start picking the wire out of the water and roll it back up into the case. And uh, how deep is the water? Like it's this, probably this up, right? It probably goes up to your... It's probably not that deep. Not quite to your knee. Not quite to your knee. It's not that deep. Probably halfway up between your knee and your ankles. Halfway up your knee and ankle. She's going to, to check the ETA of her ship arriving. The ship is probably going to be arriving within the next five minutes. Okay. If that's the case, then she's going to start wading across the water. Okay. Through your when you were using your scope, you said you have some sort of scope or something to look on at the scene. sniper rifle. Yeah. Besides the creature, the bodies, and the people around, I think Faith left, right? So Faith's not in this yeah, general she area. Off somewhere. She walked off Quinn somewhere. Quinn would have so let go at Niha. Niha's, uh, yeah. She, he you did go. see you see something shiny over here, mm-hmm. just as an FYI. I'm gonna. If no, the, I'm only, only, only. Um, Rain notices that something shiny here. 
I'm going to go retrieve my uh, sword. Okay. Gray edge. That's fine. That's fine. So wherever that that is, he walks over, grabs it, grabs it. When he let okay. go of uh, faith, he would have ran, ran over and uh, got. Yeah. Got it. So wherever your characters are, except for faith, because faith is in some unknown location right now. Wherever you guys are is I'm looking at the map. So move your characters around as your guys are moving. I'm so guessing. Rain is wading across into the river, and you guys, as soon as um, she gets close to you, immediately uh, Niha raises up her rifle, and she aims it. She aims a sniper rifle towards you. And she calls out, Who's there? Whoa, 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 hey! That's not very friendly. What is your name? Um, Rain, and you're welcome. What do you mean, you're welcome? She says without leaving, without, you know, moving her rifle away from you. Surely you noticed a couple of more shots that other people weren't shooting. She kind of, like, nudges her shoulder at the rifle that's compacted over it. Um, her eyebrows... Uh, furrow a little bit and then she says who are you affiliated with? Um, me, myself, uh, and I. I play on team me. You're not from the vault. How is it that you're alive out here? Vault? What vault? Where are you from? Um... Well, that's actually a long and complicated story, but the basic answer is Thessia. That's where I originate from. Thessia is destroyed. I meant, where are you from now? The Citadel? She, she, you hear her, um, um, I guess not cock her gun, but I don't know what she would do with a sniper rifle. She seems to be look. She seems to look very impatient right now, um, and she says, "I want answers. How could someone like you survive with all of the Reapers around?" Mm, that's because the Reapers are controlled. Until whatever you did brought more over here. Do any of the other uh, play of, of the other PCs say anything during this conversation? Quite is going into cloak. Okay. Yeah, Sala will kind of take a step forward and say, "What what you're saying makes no sense. Shepard failed. The the Reapers just continued to attack and destroyed everything." Well, you see, that's actually a long and complicated thing. Partially the reason why I was here in the first place, but. We probably shouldn't be in the middle of a hostile wilderness talking about it. This isn't exactly a place for a picnic. Sala will look over at uh, at Damien's body and the bodies of uh, of the other dead creatures and say say agreed. So what you're saying is the Reapers are now being controlled by whom? She asks. Uh, you are not gonna like the answer to that question. Pro well, most people don't, anyway. Try me. Uh, the big I am elusive man himself, savior of the galaxy, and she just goes off and mumbling in a monotone voice about all this propaganda. Who? Niha asks. Um, is, uh, the elusive man, you don't know anything about Cerberus? He was kind of their leader. She, uh, re-aims her rifle at you. So Cerberus is controlling the Reapers? Yeah, kind of... It's kind of interesting, I guess, would be a nice way of putting it. I don't like the thought of that. Not many do. 